Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday morning and we're going to read together this morning from Proverbs chapter 15. So let's hear what God's word has to say. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make temper flare. The tongue of the wise make knowledge appealing, but the mouth of the foolish belts, belches out foolishness. The Lord is watching everywhere, keeping an eye on both evil and good. Gentle words are a tree of life, a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Only a fool despises a parent's discipline. Whoever learns from correction is wise. There is treasure in the house of the godly, but the earnings of the wicked bring trouble. The lips of the wise give good advice, the heart of the fool has none to give. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but he delights in the prayer of the upright. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue godliness. Whoever abandons the right path will be severely disciplined. Whoever hates correction will die. Even death and destruction hold no secrets from the Lord. How much more does he know the human heart? Mockers hate to be corrected, so they stay away from the wise. A good heart makes a, a happy face. A broken heart crushes the spirits. A wise person is hungry for knowledge, while the fool feeds on trash. For the despondent, every day brings trouble. For the happy heart, life is a continual feast. Better to have little with fear for the Lord than to have great turmoil, great treasure and inner turmoil. A bowl of vegetables with someone you love is better than a steak with someone you hate. A hot-tempered person starts a fight. A cool-tempered person stops him. A lazy person's way is blocked with briars, but the path of the upright is an open highway. Sensible children bring joy to their father. Foolish children despise their mother. Foolishness brings joy to those with no sense. A sensible person stays on the right path. Plans go wrong for lack of advice. Many advisors bring success. Everyone enjoys a, a fitting reply. It's wonderful to say the right thing at the right time. The path of, the why, of, the path of life leads upward for the wise. They leave the grave behind. The Lord tears down the house of the proud, but he protects the property of widows. The Lord detests evil plans, but he delights in pure words. Greed brings grief to the whole family, but those who hate bribes will live. The heart of the godly thinks carefully before speaking. The mouth of the wicked overflows the evil words. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. If you listen to constructive criticism, you will be at home among the wise. If you reject discipline, you only harm yourself. But if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding. Fear of the Lord teaches wisdom. Humility precedes honour. Amen. Proverbs chapter 15. Again, Solomon throws so much at us, so he does. But just a very, just pick out a couple of things which just stand out. Just right at the very start, the very first verse. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. I'm sure we've all been in a situation where we've got into an argument or there's been a discussion or debate which has got really heated and we say things and at the end of it we realise that nobody wins. Uh, when people get hot up and hot under the collar as we say uh, and start to say things, sometimes they say things they regret, sometimes they say things they don't really mean but like we've said before going through Proverbs, once it's been said, it's said, it's out there. And we've got to be so careful about the words that we use. That's why this first verse of chapter 15 is a very wise verse. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. It's probably easier to rush in and to give an answer rather than to think 
and be gentle. But that's what we're called to do, because that's shown the attitude of Jesus, to be gentle, to be understanding, to be forgiving, uh, not to react uh, the way it's, it's in our nature to, isn't it? The other um, just thought just comes two verses below that in verse 3. The Lord is watching everywhere. It's just that reminder that no matter where we are, God is there. So he's always with us. So, you know, whenever maybe that argument is about to start and we, we need that help not to react, simply ask and God will help us. When we feel lonely and despair, God is with us. You know, we're in that situation where we feel that everything is against us. God is there. And we can trust him and rely upon him. So yeah, even in the midst of all that's going on, God is with us. So again, I don't know what your day will hold. Uh, I don't know what you've got planned. Um, so many people have got so little planned. Other people, yes, you have to be out and about and working. Probably in the situations that we find ourselves, it's easy to get into arguments with our loved ones at home. It's easy to rub each other up the wrong way. Just try and remember that first verse. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. If we all approach with that attitude, we know that things will go a lot smoother, a lot better, that we will bring the, the attitude of Christ. So let's pray for that today in all our interactions. Let's pray. Father, again, thank you this morning that you are with us. Lord, thank you for another day that you have blessed us with. Um, Lord, it might seem strange to, to, to say that at a time whenever we are locked down, at a time whenever we can't really go out and do what we want to do. But Lord, we know that you are still here with us. Yes, there's a lot going on in our world and we're concerned about that and we, and we just bring it to you and leave that with you. But Lord, just thank you for looking after us last night, bringing us safely through the evening and bringing us into this day, a day when, whenever we can, in our own way, serve you and worship you. So, Father, today help us um, in all our interactions, whether they be face-to-face, -face, down telephones, or across connections, that we would be gentle, that we would not be quick to react, but instead, Father, that we would bring gentle words, not harsh words. Bring your love into every situation. So Lord, thank you. And continue with us now, we pray. In Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, back tomorrow morning, uh, same time, same place. Until then, take care. God bless. Bye.